Welcome Raiders to another Raid Shadow Legends video and here we are on Seth FMG's account. We definitely made sure we're on the right channel, of course. And we have 20 Sacred Shards we're going to be pulling during this 10x for probably Harima and the 2x Sacreds as well. So, oh... Hopefully we get something good. Good luck. Let's go. First shard in, we get an Aox, the Rememberer. I remember him. <laughs> now nah, he's pretty good. A lot of people use him in clan boss, you know, like early to mid game, maybe even late. He's really good in the faction crypts as well. Faction wars uh, for Lizardmen. Um, he's a pretty good champion. I like him. He's overall pretty good. Oh. Oh, is that a uh, cage breaker? Cage breaker, towering titans, little brother. You know, people want to use this champion um, with him. But normally it's like, you got the sleep here. Is he viable? He's got the quad hit, which is weird because you don't want to use multi hits, but he does put sleep. So it's like, hmm, people gonna use him for the sand devil? I don't know. Plus his A3 is just kind of weird, man. I don't know. I wish he would have had bombs instead. They should just change this to bombs. Personally. Make it destroy enemy XP, HP, and bombs. Jarreg, old school HP based clan boss champion. And he's pretty good for Lizardman as well. Because when the boss starts, you know, starts hitting hard because it ignores your defense in the Lizardman faction, you can definitely use Jareg to put that decreased attack and his passive. Uh, it, it, it almost tried to lag. It almost tried to lag. Magnar, amazing HP-based nuking champion for Arena and for the faction against those pesky Valkyries. Um, other than that, maybe, you know, he does debuff spread. People forget that he actually does this. And did you know that Magnar, could, instead of doing a double hit, he's kind of like Trunda. You can actually get the stun out and stuff like that. So if you didn't want to do the double hit, you know, you could get some stuns out as well. Come on, Harima. And we get Ugo. We're actually getting really strong epics back to back now. Ugo's very powerful for Hydra. Very powerful for Ogre and Tribes. Uh, decreased defense and block buffs, debuff on a three turn, 100% chance on the 8 2. And the chance for the block buffs increases for each enemy alive. You got the leech on the A1, you got a little bit of a cleanse and, and heals based on her max HP, and she can revive everybody if she's the only person alive. Plus, she has this uh, nice passive that synergizes with the A3. Oh, Rhyme Beast. Oh, this champion needs a buff so bad. I think, like, legit Frostbringer and Rhyme Beast need a buff. Like, really good buff. He used to be pretty annoying back in the old, old days because of his A2 right over here. He used to be pretty, pretty annoying, but um, this is a five turn cooldown. Just make it a three turn. Why do I gotta fight, wait five turns to try to kill one enemy to get a revive off? Like, what? And it's a random ally. You can't control it. I just it's just weird. Just weird. Weird champion. Too old. Player and fix him. Fix the champion, please. Wode painted. Now this champion's amazing. Uh they buffed her, so this this A2 is of one of the strongest heals in the game. Uh actually everything makes sense of her now. You can build her HP instead of building her attack before, which didn't make sense. She's an HP champion, so everything works, synergizes with her. I like her. Gonna be using her soon. Gotta be building her, so let's see. <laughs> What's up, Backyard How you doing? Uh, we got basically Faucet Man, also Lodric Falconheart, aka Lodric here. Um, this champion has uh, pretty much shields for everybody on a two turn cooldown for basically Borg, Borg got the Scarab King, so if you need shields, that's what it's there for. He's got a little bit of a cleanse and ally protection. And he's got Duke's attack, so yeah. Hey, and we 
get a Lanicus. Ah, Lanicus. Lanicus, a chosen, can be used for infinitely gauntlet comps. She's a she's a strong ally attack champ. I was using her in Dragon to send out all my nukers against Dragon to you know do a lot of damage with their A1s and stuff like that. I just think that player needs to reduce this down to a three turn cooldown because if I'm gonna get a fifty percent chance to get an extra turn, not even a hundred percent, a fifty percent chance that it needs to be a better cooldown. Okay. This is a four turn cooldown. This is a four turn cooldown with a chance of getting an extra turn. It should just be a three turn if you're going to make me wait longer for the ally attack. But other than that, Lanicus is Lanicus. People still use her sometimes, but she's not that. She's kind of getting kind of old. We got, 11, we got 11 more sacreds right here. Keep going. Yeah, most people put her into the vault. We got Aunt Arndolf. Okay, defense based battle lord would provoke some weakening fears. Kind of weird, uh, but it actually makes sense because now with fear on his A2, he can actually use that one champion that no one uses the epic in battle lords. The yeah, Michael Myers. Yeah, so you can actually do stuff with him, you know. Um, reflex and counter dead on, on everybody, which is pretty cool. Would have been nice if he would have been a new epic that put counter attack on everybody, right? But Playroom doesn't want to give us counter attack champions anymore. Sag. Come on! Urtakata, people are using her in Clan Boss and other places. There are people are showing off how really strong she can start putting lots of poisons and poison sensitivity, so she throws out some nice deep deep. She is a 133 champion as well, which is nice. She does have an increased speed in all battles. Uh, if you're into poisons and you're into some demons. If that's what you're into, then I guess you could play with Urtakata. Oh! We went from being like old school back to new school, back to old school. Jesus. Ultimate Galek. Remember when he came out on the old school Amazon Prime? And you could get him for free? And people were like, oh my gosh, HP Burner for Spider. Oh yeah! Now Ultimate Galek is kind of just like People just care about Ultimate Kale, right? Oh, you're killing me here. Hey, we did get a Michaelic Priest Orn. That is good. Everyone likes having an extra Michaelic Priest Orn for the Sylvan Watchers. I could definitely see someone building four or five of them and just going right through the whole faction like it's nothing. <laughs> They're all HP champions that's freaking they're as they get like more poisons get stacked on an enemy, they just become tankier and tankier and tankier. <laughs> if you had five of them, you wouldn't even need them in regeneration. They probably could just go all they just kill a boss like like this. I mean they are one three three champs, which is nice, and they do heal themselves. But uh this they nerfed they nerfed a the skill a lot. Like one percent I think is just messed up, man. Like that's only I think they should have made it two, two or three, but like that was just too much. They didn't have to go that far. They nerfed, they nerfed the skill way too much, but whatever. I still like the champion. Jerry figured it out finally. Congratulations, Ellie Mae Jerk. Ooh, Ruella, another Sylvan Watchers. Okay, Clan, uh, she's a Fire Knight specialist, right? People are talking about that she's really good in Fire Knight. She's got multi hits. She's got turn meter boost and she's got accuracy in dungeons so if you need accuracy in dungeons like a frozen banshee well guess what you got a new champion that can do for you ruella and she's actually pretty to look at if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm saying, you know what I'm saying? unfortunately she's kind of covered in a lot of areas hey don't judge all right we got the sand lash aka one of the um old school <clears throat> old school champions for clan boss that people use for the you know extending buffs with you know like before Godseeker. Godseeker was another popular one. But people use Sandlash because she had the Ally Protect, she had uh the provokes, self-healing, she had this, and she people would put her in the lead position if you needed defense. But now everyone has like ultimate death knight and other stuff. But she is also a very strong champion in the arena. Or tag team arena, whichever one you're doing, 
You could use she's one of the two components that are necessary for what's called the four horsemen. Seeker in the lead or Kyoku, Sandlash in the second position, nuking champion like Morton McCab or or uh, like a Kandrophon or someone who can or Magnar in the third position, and then the fourth position of Vogoth. So she's a very powerful champion that can still be used nowadays. Will she be powerful in 2023? Maybe there'll be a new version of Sandlash. Who knows? We got Lartric Falconheart. Uh, another, you know, Faucet Man. Sag. Another Faucet Man. Oh, Jesus. Tayrell. Old champion. <laughs> old champion yeah we got an old champion here that's technically really still good for clan boss if you're like trying to progress through brutal and nightmare but once you get to ultra nightmare he kind of falls off uh personally and then you know he's still he's just it's because he's not a 133 or 134 he's a 144 champion so he's just kind of too old you know like people just be tuning and it just becomes a headache but he is still pretty good i've seen some people use him from time to time so My God! Someone turn on the two X, man. Jesus! Tell player they need to turn it on, dude. Turn it on. Turn on the lights. Jesus Christ! <laughs> we got Drake. Drake, you know, started from the bottom and he got buffed. Uh, he got one attacks one enemy, gets an extra turn if he's killed. Okay, typical. Um, attacks one enemy if the target's less than fifty percent. This attack is always critical. That doesn't make sense because you're going to build him critter anyways, unless you're going to build him as ASDD champion just for this. <sighs> the buff they gave him just wasn't enough, man. Like, I don't know, man. Like, it's still get kind of sad. Like, you can use him, but I, I just, I feel like Relic Keeper is still one of the best. <laughs> Honestly, in terms of extra turn, Septimus and Relic Keeper are still one of the best, like, extra turn champs. Unless we're talking about, like, Nogdor or someone else. But I don't know. Oh, I mean, Herndig is pretty good too, but in terms of, like, epics. Those are Legos, so. Oh, mother of God, dude. Mother of God. We got Oathbound here. Oathbound, I actually tried him out in Faction Wars back in the days uh, when I was having trouble in Vanna Lords. He does have the freeze here. He has the decrease attack. Plus, he also de controls Termeter, right? That's not bad, right? The 100% decrease attack and controlling Termeter is really nice on an A2 and a three-turn cooldown. Uh, the A3, I don't like the fact that it's random though. That was annoying me. You get to, if you get super lucky, like you, you know, it's a four, but it's a four turn skill that attacks four times at random. Like why? Why make why make it a three turn that attacks four times at random? I'm already attacking randomly. I don't know. Like I don't know. That's the only thing about him that makes me sad. That's the only thing I would change. Reduces by one turn. It becomes viable. I think at least usage in faction wars. All right, the last shard. Come on, I can't look. No. Okay, we got Kytus. <coughs> Kytus actually is an underrated champion. He's one of the few champions that still has a a secret skill. You know, more to be cab and Kytus uh, and uh, and what's his name? Um, Baron used to be the only ones that have secret skills. But uh, this skill technically it gets unlocked, and it's really strong. It's basically like Trunda skill, you know. It hits really, really hard on a four turn, and Trunda I think is like a five turn. Actually, this skill hits pretty hard too because he gets the increased attack as well, and it's on a it's on a four turn as well. So he's a one four four champion. Um, he also has a hundred percent chance of putting heal reduction. He's one of the only champions that can actually do this, so that's pretty good too. But um who's i mean most people are probably not going to use kytus anymore he was doing really good but once stone skin came out it kind of like dropped off i wonder if people are still using stone skin i mean uh kytus in a, in arena nowadays i don't really see him that much but all right thank you seth Th sorry you only got one lego jesus out of 20 sacreds just nuts nuts dude sag well anyways thank you readers did you guys get actually get harima did you actually get something good Put your comments in the put down in the comments below what you actually got, and, and, and hopefully next time we can get something better for Seth. Thank you, readers. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.